Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Frank from FNL Superstore with my sixth or seventh take. I uh, quit counting on um, how to update uh, a Spark, which is an all winter A31 chip device, uh, tablet, retina display, very good tablet, um, and it comes with the new quad core A31, like I've already said. You can more than likely use this guide to update any A31, A10, A13, anything in the all winter family. What you want to do is, in the links below, you'll see a link for the Phoenix Suit Packet. You want to download that, uh, and also the, the TWRP Packet for the Spark. Um, the TWRP Packet will not work on any all-winter device. Uh, it has to be packaged with the kernel that came with your device. So if you want TWRP customized for your device, the, let's say you just have some random all-winter A31. I know Ekin makes a few... A31 tablets, uh, you would have to get the soft, get the firmware, go find Christian Troy on the Slate Troy forums. Uh, he, he, he does develop for us. We pay him to do stuff for us, but if you want him to make a, a custom recovery for you, I'm pretty sure you can persuade him. Um, I, he might do it for free. I wouldn't recommend it. The guy works hard, and, and it's not his only job. And again, like I said, I pay him for the stuff that we carry, so if we carry any other all winter devices, you can be sure that we're gonna have TWRP for it. So you wanna download the TWRP package, and the TWRP package is gonna have TWRP image and term.apk. That's just a terminal APK, so you don't have to log into the Android market later. And also what I've already done was I've downloaded or or I've kind of recustomized a custom stock ROM, which is right here. And, and then you see that's a zip file. We'll, we'll explain that a little bit later. What you want to do is you want to install Phoenix um, Suite. Uh, and then you'll see it comes up. It's in Chinese. I can't read Chinese. Maybe you can't either. Uh, that's why you are watching this video. So at the N stands for next. I'm pretty sure the E stands for English and that stands for Mandarin. So you want English. Click next. Click next. It's going to install. I've already had the drivers installed. So when you are installing the Phoenix Suite or Suit, whatever, I don't know why it doesn't say Suite, for the first time, it's going to prompt you to, there it is right here, install this driver software anywhere. Anyway, I, I, I didn't know if it would prompt me again. You want to click yes. Installed anyway. It's just not signed by Microsoft. It doesn't make a big deal. Once that's done, I guess the C means finished. So now you have Phoenix Pack, Phoenix Suite Packet inside of your computer. You can see it right here. I do this. I go down to all programs. I find Phoenix and then I click this one right here. I, I, I've never clicked the other one. Who knows? It might do the same thing. Now, oh, also when I was telling you to download um, things, I forgot to tell you to download, since this is a Spark, the link below will be for the firmware that we're going to use. For this purpose, or, or for this video, we're going to use this one right here, Novo 906 FC under, underscore SDK 2.0. The date on it's 130403 V1. All that's going to do is that's going to get us to a point where I know that TWRP will work. Once TWRP works, you can use a much better or much easier uh, method of flashing your tablet. So what you want to do is you got your trusty tablet out. You want to hold the uh, the volume plus button right here. Then you want to insert, you want to continue to hold this volume plus button, very, very important. Then you want to insert your micro USB cable, if I can find the hole. And then you want to press power like five times. It's going to, in the background, you'll see, I'm sorry about the focus. I've got it on auto focus because we're going to be using different focal points throughout the video. Um, does mandatory format just hit yes? This is going to take about three or four minutes. I'm going to edit this part out, and then we'll get to the part on the tablet to get TWRP uh, flashed to the recovery partition so you can have it on the tablet for the rest of its life. Okay, so now it's finished. Up, up, upgrade firmware succeed. What I do is I take the uh, cord out. Uh, boot the, I've already started booting the machine. It's going to take a while, uh, first boot, while it builds the cache. It also will probably be a little slow. 
um, when you're when you're in it for a minute or two. Clo go ahead and close this window out, and then while this is booting, locate um, term.apk and twrp.image. Also, if you had downloaded any custom ROM like I did, I've got this one right here. It's just I took Fiu's ROM and I edited some stuff in it, and it's basically a Fiu ROM. Um, Fiu worked for them, so let's just call it a stock ROM. So I took the stock ROM. Uh, put my own settings in it, like for English, uh, it um, default to English US, um, and also make sure that the their market files are in there. As you can see, boot it up. It's going to be in um, what do you call this? Chinese. You can see it's going to be a little slow. It's always like this first boot. So you hit the app drawer right here. Settings. Of course, you got to click off these things there first. Settings. And you'll look for the A. It's right here. It's always at the bottom. When you look at the very first screen, the very first selection up here is the um, language settings. English, United States, or wherever you're from. I'll go back home. Um, and then put the cable back in. Gonna say the adapter is weak, which it is. Uh, word to the wise: if you try to charge your tablet by your computer, it charges at like a half an amp. So it could probably take 24 to 36 hours. You always want to use the barrel charger, the barrels to the round connector. Um, USB connected. Touch the copy files to and from your computer. Turn on USB storage. And again, sorry about the focusing, and we're using multiple focus points, so I wanted to have autofocus on so I didn't have to do 100 takes. And I'm not editing this out because I've done this so many times. I'm just going to one-shot this, and hopefully it doesn't sound completely stupid. If it does, then you know, I guess I'm an idiot. But you can't laugh at other people unless you laugh at yourself. You want to find Term APK TWRP Image Spark 411-0425. That's my custom ROM. Yours might have a different name. What you could do is you can go to uh, the Slate Droid forums. You'll see that the Novo 9 Spark popped up as the G drive as soon as, soon as, as, soon as I turned on uh, USB storage. I copied those files over. Um, go to Slate Droid Forums. There's a whole um, area dedicated to the Idle Nova 9 Spark Firewire. And Christian Troy's written, I think, three or four custom ROMs for it. He also did the TWRP image, too. I think I might have already mentioned that, but I stopped the tape earlier uh, for that four minute break. So now those files are copied. You should look in your G drive. You'll see the zip file, the custom ROM, the term.apk, and twrp.image. You can go ahead and turn off file or USB storage. Click home. Go to your file manager on here. SD card. Install term.apk. It's a terminal program. You can also do this through ADB. If you're familiar with ADB, uh, you just go into the shell and you could do th these same exact commands that I'm doing now through an ADB shell. Type SU for super user. Then you want to type um, cat um, forward slash SD card forward slash TWRP image. Almost burped. I would have had to edit it out. Space, greater sign, space, forward slash, um, dev, forward slash block. Oops. Forward slash uh, NAND G, I think. Let me just double check. Yeah, it's right in back of me. NAND G. Um, hit enter. That just flashed the image to the recovery partition sync semicolon sync semicolon sync enter. Now you could do one of two things. You could type reboot space recovery and hit enter, or you can go home. Whatever is easier for you. I want to try to make this as as dummy proof as possible. I'm sorry if you're offended. I just called you a dummy. I didn't mean it towards you. Um, recovery mode. Just click that. 
reboot and sister, uh, you can partition or remove debt, you cannot partition. I don't know why they say that. Now, if everything went right, which it should and did, you will reboot into TWR, TWRP recovery. I suggest taking the the, the cord out because if not, it makes your computer freak out. Just It's like connect ADB, disconnect, connect ADB. Now, if you're going to install a custom ROM, what you want to do first is you want to go to white, factory reset, swipe to confirm. I personally do a system. and then swipe to confirm. If you ever get, if your internal drive ever gets corrupt because it's FAT32 and FAT32 is not the m safest uh, file system in the world, you could do an internal storage. I'm not doing it now because I have the files on side, or I'm sorry, inside the internal storage. You wanna click install and you could see it, it's, it shows that you're on the SD card, right? But you're really kind of not on the SD card. You got to go up a level and then you got to click EMMC. So now you can see that's the SD card. So this is my custom ROM. I click that. If you have more zips, some uh, custom ROMs have more zips that are compatibility files or maybe installs Flash. Um, you can make, a, you can make a, a zip to do anything, to reformat your drive, to add a file, to take away a file. There's a million things that you can do with a custom recovery. Uh, anyways, we just have one file. Swipe to confirm flash, and you can see that it's going to go ahead and flash that custom ROM file. Um, that's really about it. I, I can't really think of any notes to tell you. Uh, if you bought the tablet from me, you can ask questions either here or you can send them to my, my email, just Google my store, FNL Superstore, also uh, the link is gonna be down there. Um, if you didn't buy from me, maybe you should ask uh, the company that you purchased it from why they don't have um, guides or, or help on how to update uh, a China tablet because China tablets are not over the air. Pretty much you have to update them yourself or they won't ever get updated to fix uh, small bugs. Like this one had a Wi-Fi issue before the most recent updates, but everything's been fixed now. Um, and I, I personally think that the, the newest firmware is working real good. We were actually loading uh, all of our tablets with the firmware that just came out like two or three days ago. That's really about it. Good luck.